Hi there, it's Lou again, aka Jachinoy, and happy, happy new year to all of you and to everyone. And it's my first time in the longest time again to film because you know I got busy and it's my first time. Well, I'm alone at my at my house right now because I'm still nursing a very bad uh, stuffy nose but then again thank you so much for clicking to this channel and if you are new to my channel hi there my name is Lou aka Jachi Noi I'm a mom full-time full-time working here in Singapore and I'm, uh, I'm a mom with three kids and I'm already here in Singapore for 14 long years and yeah working full time and yes thank you so much for clicking in this channel and to my fellow subscribers thank you so much happy new year to all of you guys i was just contemplating a while ago while i took my grab taxi like i'm thinking i would like to put up one video that uh you know because i haven't uploaded that much because we had you know christmas holidays and in a couple of weeks we're going to have chinese new year so i'm thinking i would like to do this is my first time to do a 2019 reflections and 2020 goals so i'm thinking like i would like to share with you what happened to me what are my reflections on the last 2019 and the very very best thing that uh that you can do your reflections and goal if you are not doing it i highly highly suggest you know what when we were kids we we're doing planner or diaries yes i've been doing it this is the happy planner this is my 2019 happy planner this was last year's and i always buy the horizontal one because i like to write it's like a diary thing so it will show a lot of what had happened to me so i'm like thinking this is the um, so i'm like thinking this is a good thing to reflect on what i have done last year so i'm just checking on the back notes normally i put here like my goals or resolutions but i didn't put because i'm thinking you know those kinds of goals and resolutions that you always write down and you always forget and you never do it and then you know another year pass by so i'm like thinking i just would like to share my reflection so this is my january one and one thing that really enlightens me is because now it's 2020 right and probably i'm just going to be all over the place but i'm going to tell you what i think uh, what i think about it because the, the goals that I wanted to do is like, wow, 2020, I'm turning 40 years old. Yes, I am so old. <laughs> Adulting is so hard. And because I, I'm a 1980 baby, you see, so it's just easy. Now, it's 2020, I'm turning 40 years old in a couple of months. And sometimes it makes me think like, wow, I'm turning 40 years old. I got three kids and my youngest is still one year old so sometimes not sometimes almost every day I, I always think and and ask my hubby like how can we afford this right we are foreigners here living in singapore me and my husband are both permanent residents but unfortunately all my kids are all foreigners so we're paying foreigner rate we keep on applying a uh, permanent residence but they keep on rejecting us so so we just need to you know to retry and retry again and i'm so blessed already that my eldest got a school and i'm just praying and hoping that my second and third will have school because they have quotas here in singapore you see if you run out of school the only thing that i can you know enroll them is an international school which is super duper expensive like minimum one thousand sing dollars per month for uh for a p1 for a primary one but anyways yeah that that's what uh, i'm reflecting right now in 2020 i'm like thinking oh god i hope like you will give me more life and my husband too because well i'm i'm i have a lot of kids i'm feeding a lot of kids and and how about their education and their future like i'm like always thinking like uh, why did i have the a family late in my life i always think that i always 
thought to my husband like you should uh, we should have met long long time ago then we should have started a family and what so that the age of our kids and us will be you know almost sort of almost the same or we can reach each other right but then again god has other purpose you see because uh, i met my husband like late 20s and then then we got married in our late 20s so of course if you started late everything is late right but at the end of the day i'm really so blessed because everybody knows especially if uh my my close friends i don't even want to have one kid i'm very very open for adoption but god has a different you know different plan to me that's why they said like even though you plan it you plan it's still god's plan who will really you know endure and now I wake up with three kids, three happy kids, and I just want to give them the best in life. Like for example, like like right now, right? At least I have we have extra money for 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 my eldest to to let her go to ballet classes because when I was a kid, I I never go ballet classes. I never go to extra classes. Why? Because we don't have extra money, and I don't have a nanny who can bring me to those classes or not. So at least right now, everything is in school, everything is okay, we can afford it. And yeah, that's my goal. And one more thing, oh my gosh, I really want to go with, because I'm a Filipino Chinese. But my Chinese really, really sucks. I understand a bit, because in the Philippines, our Chinese there is uh, Hokkien. And when I came here in Singapore, our Chinese is Mandarin. And almost everybody speaks in English as well. So. I never never hone my Chinese and my dad is a businessman he's always out he's always out of the country and my friends are even though you're, they're Filipino Chinese or pure Chinese I never never practice my conversation Chinese so I, I suck big time on that and I'm like thinking I don't want that to happen to my kids they are like they are Chinese as well and I would like them to know you know, uh, a second language, right? Because me, I'm a Filipino Chinese. My husband is a Filipino Japanese and he's also uh, a Bisaya. So, it would really be great if my kids know how to sp speak Tagalog, English, Bisaya, and, and you know, ch ch uh, Chinese, Mandarin, and of course, Japanese. Wow, that's five languages. I, I don't want to pressure my kids, but at least... The Chinese, the Mandarin, is already inside their curriculum, especially my my eldest. So, so I hired recently an online Chinese tutor. So I hope that will help. Uh, she has it uh, three times in a week. Then some things I will help her out. I really just hope that you know the things you know those kind of motherly things like the things I never had in my life when I was young. Of course, I would love to give it. You know to my kid to my kids right that's my that's my goal for 2020 and and i want to be a uh, fitter i want to be healthier i don't want to eat like a lot of junk things uh, right now i don't know if if it happens to you um because now i'm older right i hope i'm getting wiser but recently i noticed i cannot even finish like a uh, one set of meal like when we go out with our family like for example because we are three adults three kids we never never buy like like you know full set we always share and we manage to finish it because if we ma if we buy like three or four set of meals oh my gosh we have a lot of leftovers and that is really not good for everybody right so i'm like thinking i noticed my appetite went down even though I i'm not sick but right now i'm sick it's my second week of stuffy nose so I'm just uh, drinking a lot of pineapple juice that my cousin uh, recommended. So yes, I, I just want to be, you know, fitter and, you know, to, to watch what I'm eating. I'm not going to diet, but I just want to watch what I'm eating, eating ev everything moderately and especially, especially exercise because I will never, never lose my, my weight if i don't exercise right but recently because i got sick oh my gosh this this shirt it's just a black shirt would you believe the last time this is super fit on me but right now i i'm okay so i think i, I lose a, a bit of a weight 
It's kind of good because that is my goal, but not so good because I got sick, that's why. So I just need to be, you know, fitter. And because because I have a very busy schedule, you know, working full time, then doing assignments with the kids. Would you believe I only exercise at night? Of course, exercise can be anytime and everywhere of the day. That's why me, I would like to fa uh, fa uh, I've, oh, I've always following Emmy Wong. She is from Hong Kong and she does a lot of exercises that even in your small apartment, you can do it. And they ha she has a lot of exercises like no jumping. You can lie down and what. It's really, really good for beginners uh, just like me. Who wants to set a goal not not like full blast goal but the thing is at least you're starting into something right so I really really like it to be like that and and she's doing the exercises together with you and it's really really good especially for small apartments like here in Singapore and in Hong Kong and it's really really feasible that and it's doable that you know I, I put on my uh, earphones and then I exercise together with her because especially for me I'm a mom with three kids of course I have this wow really big um, tummy that it won't go away because I don't even exercise and my hips really expanded so hard so big that's why uh, I need to do exercises you see and recently my 2019 reflection as well going to 2020 because you know i have this body already uh, i'm not so sure if you see my if you follow him follow me in my instagram i always wear black nowadays i think i started it last year 2019 and i always uh wear black um uh wear neutral clothes because my liking in fashion changed already and it's so hard to mismatch for me colors i don't want to overthink already or what recently i've been buying some stuff my bags my shoes my clothes all in the safe color so that whatever i pick from my closet it's so easy to match or probably i'm already so old as well because the last time if you knew me oh my gosh i'm wearing like shocking yellow or whatsoever i seldom still wear that but i'm very very comfortable right excuse me right now on wearing black that's why sometimes i just have like a pop of a color like this one i, I bought it in aliexpress it got the sequence red and white and it looks like this but it's just a black shirt and then i'm wearing the under armor uh, pants so i just went to church um a while ago and i just used my um my tennis shoes my white tennis shoes and that's it and it's just so you know practical and so easy so yes and what else so i'm thinking as well let me read let, let me read some of my um thoughts that i've written here at my happy planner by the way if you're asking this is the classic size of the happy planner happy planner is a range of planners in the u.s but in singapore i can buy it in the stores and i can buy it in carousels really really nice because at the end of the day even though you put your schedules and whatsoever in the cell phone actually it's really really effective if you really write down by hand and it will really you will remember it more because you did it you know by hand so this is the one that uh, i have like like for example i put all my notes here my salary my expenses by the way uh in 2020 i'm going as well i use my expense manager this is the i'll show you the the app this one this is the expense manager so if you open that up you can put all your expenses so recently i've been putting a lot of my expenses like every time i have an expense you just you just put on the amount like for example five dollars and you can categorize it if it's it if it's a gift if it's a personal if, if it's for shopping and at least 
you can physically see it on how much you have and you can also put your salary in there so that you know what's your expenses your income and your expenses and yeah that is uh that is one of the where i'm going to still continue on my goals from reflection to goals and what else and i'm going to goal as well to be more patient with my kids and with my family because you know I, i've been thinking a lot uh, i've been thinking a lot of things and of course it's things and it's been so busy at work busy at home that's why there's a lot of things that i really want to be you know alone time especially if you are you are a mom mom of three even though you are a mom of one it's best to have an alone time like right now i'm having my alone time so i'm putting all my taxes here how much they they tax me because the last time i do my iras taxes uh annually but i'm thinking so i would like to spread it out so i will not be shocked like one whole shot one whole shot december they're going to take it so i did it uh, monthly what else in the february and because right now our chinese new year falls on a january 25 and uh, 26 is a saturday and sunday so in a couple of weeks we're going to be in uh what i call this in holiday mood again but the good thing i've already cleaned a lot a lot of things decluttered a lot of things like the things uh, like the clothes that i have the the bags i have i gave it to my sister-in-law because they just visited me and my husband always always tells me if you don't wear this kind of clothes for more than a year it's best to give it away best to give it uh, to another person who can uh, use it and i totally totally agree so that it will not you know clog up on my on my uh, uh inside my closet right and right now because probably i'm ready i'm already getting old i really don't like any more um heavy bags and if i notice that oh my gosh i never never use it you know those kind of stuff that you bought it but you never grab it you never even use it or sometimes if you're if you use it you are unhappy so i gave some of my bags to my sister-in-laws and the ones that i have right now are the truly ones that i love and i will use and good thing that even though my youngest is turning one all my uh all my all her clothes and of course the unisex clothes i can give it to my uh sister-in-law because they're having their first baby and i would like to give it to them and if you know me way 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 before your uh youtube I always collect a lot of Jujube bags, which is a diaper bag from the US. I think I got more than more than 10 of them, like pouches, bags, and what. So I told my brother, do not buy any diaper bag. I'll give you two of it. These are very, very durable bags. It's even machine washable. So they said, so I'm going to give it to them next week when they do their... Um, their uh baby shower and then she goes back to manila to have that uh you know to give birth to the baby so that is what uh, i'm doing right now for, for my golding for 2020 and now i'm we are really careful on buying uh stuff for our kids because of course you got a lot of people in the house and there will be a lot of junk a lot of things in the house as well so our house is just an okay size for Singapore standards. It's a it's a it's a it's an okay HDB. But the thing is, if you accumulate a lot of stuff, it will just be there, 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 and it will be one on top of the other, right? So I'm we're careful right now on what to buy because I just want the things that are here to be, you know, the things that we are going to use. And if I really if I really don't you know want to use it like for example there are things that you need and you want right but i need to reflect as well oh should i uh will i be using it like this like this or is this occasion thing like that then i will not buy i will buy stuff that is you know 100 percent my heart into it so that you know we avoid any declutter and expenses so yes yeah, so then my mom is coming this uh 
next month. So yeah, that's one more thing. I have I haven't been I haven't visited Manila because my husband is from Davao. If I'm not mistaken, every year we go to Davao whenever school holidays or Christmas or what. But we seldom go to my place in Manila because my husband doesn't like it in Manila. It's traffic and whatsoever and he always thinks that it's best that my mom come over here in Singapore because I don't have a dad anymore, you see. Which is true, it's really convenient. At least we're just paying for one ticket. Rather for us, six of us going to, going to Manila. But I always think that how about my cousin? I, I, I seldom see them and my my tita and that is where I, I I grew up, you see. If I'm not mistaken, I haven't been in Manila for more than three years. Especially my, my family. So that will be one of my goals for 2020. I would like to go back to Manila. Like probably this coming June because June is the school holidays of my eldest. So even for, for one week only, just just Manila only. You know, so that I can spend time with my my mom, with my you know, with my tita, my cousins, my uh my what do you call this? My nephews, my nieces and you know, I just want to go back to where uh, you know uh, I grew up even though they, if there's traffic and whatsoever I'll just not go whenever it's peak hour you see okay what else so I'm checking my March it is so cute in March it got a uh, wonder last so March is normally is the school holiday is the one week school holidays of of my eldest April May okay and then i'm thinking and i'm thinking as well like okay should i celebrate the birthdays of my kids probably we'll just celebrate it at school if the school allows it so yeah so uh, so when when you reflect on it it will be so nice and this is now my new my new planner it's also a happy planner. it's a classic version i just I bought this cover then I put the planner inside so I have got stickers here and post-its and this is my 2020 planner so I got the January here so yes it's really really good if you plot everything and of course this is my diary so Saturday yesterday I'm just going to continue what I had and then Sunday today because you know, I, I went to church. So I'm going to put everything there. And then I put all the public holidays here. The, for example, the ballets, the birthdays that uh, we need to attend whatsoever. And then the good part of this kind of diary, because I started this happy planner on 2018. And I have it as well. Some Something like that I jumped and then I jumped. I think I had one in 2005 when in the Philippines we started the Starbucks planner. Oh my gosh, that is very, very uh, famous that time. Like you get, uh, if you buy one drink, you get one stamp. And if I'm not mistaken, you need to collect like 20 or 30 stamps. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of drinks, right? But I managed to buy one. I managed to finish one. And it brings me a lot of memories. Like for example, today is January 12th, right? So I, I check my in my previous uh, planner what happened on that January 12th. So let's see. So this is my 2019 planner, right? Let me see what did I put on January 12th. Then it gives you, uh, you know, a very good memory. It's just like your Facebook memories, like. Facebook is reminding you like what happened last year, last two years, last three years, four years on the exact date. So, uh, okay, let me check first if I, I can say this publicly. Okay, I put here like, okay, January 12th of last year is a Saturday. So, it, I, I wrote here, made in Manhattan, bucket list, and then so not into you. Oh, okay. So I put here binge watch. So I believe this is the time that I watch three movies straight in Netflix. Then it says here that's why I need to exercise and do the things that makes me 
happy because I have a sticker here saying work hard and dream big and I have also a me time here it says here I had McDonald's with my with my free nuggets but there's no frappuccino I really love frappuccino in McDonald's but I had an ice cream instead oh my gosh and then it says here no Zumba on YouTube it's a great feeling okay I don't understand this one why why I'm happy with no Zumba on YouTube normally Saturday I exercise in the morning and it says here uh, as well that my husband my nanny and my kids they went for uh, they went for PA that's why I was alone on a Saturday Hmm, good on January 12th. So that's what happened to me last year and then I'm going to put You know uh, things uh, For what happened for me this year. So Yes, I think and then ah, what else one more thing my husband he gave me like two or three uh, Christmas gift and one of the Christmas gift that he bought this is from typo notebook and you know the the friends right how you doing this is the one that uh joy Triviani always says and he bought me this notebook so i'm thinking i already got um a planner right on what happened on what what is my you know what happened to me daily my schedule and what that i always write at night and then i think then i thought about it it's best to use this notebook for um what it uh, what do you call this my gratitude journal so sometimes in life sometimes in life there are things that you know sucky but sometimes you're going to think wow you're super super thankful on what had happened even small things so i'm thinking i'm using this as my gratitude journal so i put everything here that i'm very very grateful like for example yesterday uh yeah, uh, no, Friday, Friday, Saturday, I haven't filled it out. Later, I'll fill it out. For example, Friday, I put here, grateful that I survived this week even though I had a hard time breathing. Of course, I got black nose, right? Then I work on Monday to Friday. It's just so hard to work in the office because the office as well is uh, air-conditioned. And it's a uh, centralized aircon, so I cannot really adjust it lower. So... I just drink a lot of pineapple juice, a lot of water, a lot of hot tea, and I managed to survive it without without complaining. I just, you know, blow my nose, and I just need to finish the week. So I'm just really, really proud because, of course, it's kind of so hard to come back to work after your, your holidays, right? But it is what it is. That's why you have this kind of off days or holidays. Then you go back to the grind again. Then I also put here thankful that it was an easy day. Yes, that Friday it was an easy day. Normally for Fridays for for our office is not so busy. But yes, I am just so thankful that the week is over and then tomorrow Monday going to do it again. So I highly suggest as well if you don't have a, a gratitude journal, best you know to start one even though you don't have a diary you don't want to you know write down everything what happened to you and your crush or whatsoever it's best to have a gratitude journal because it's nice to look at especially if it's already filling up like for example you finish your february or january or what it's nice to, uh, it's nice to look on what had happened and whatsoever and like what i said if you write down everything, it makes more sense. You'll be happier. You can put stickers and post it. And it's, re it's really, really a, a nice feeling. So, yes, I believe, I think uh, that's about it. And then um, I'm just going to relax. And there's a new supermarket in the Kinex Mall. I bought this Chef Tony's Jalapeno uh, Cheddar. I'm just so happy because this one is made in the Philippines and we have it now in Singapore on that specific uh, supermarket. I haven't tried this Jalapeno Cheddar. I hope it's not that too spicy or what, but I bought it. I think it's about $9. So even though I'm not, you know, I, I'm not physically in the Philippines, I can buy some stuff. And yes. 
that's about it i hope you like this kind of video like you know chit chatting and and i do believe i got more than 10,000 views already it's one of my uh very famous uh video that i made so if you have any questions just put it on that comment section but at the end of the day guys if you listen on that specific video i already answered almost everything and even though i made that i think two or three years ago it's still applicable now i'm just telling you guys how to apply a job in singapore everything is online guys and you need to be a university graduate so that the employer can give you an e-pass and s-pass if you are if you are lower than university graduate there is no hope for you guys to come here in singapore because they really really want educated people who have this kind of degree why because they want to be fair to our fellow Singaporeans and permanent residents to give job first to them rather to the foreigners, okay? And, and just an update, now 2020, I have several people, several friends who, who lost their job, who are now uh, unemployed but, and their tourist uh, visa is already ticking. Why? Because things are harder right now if you don't have any projects and you don't have income, right, as a company. So that's why some of my friends, they have like, they're, they're looking for new jobs already. And, and, and always, I always say, if you want to look for a job, check it online. Everything is in online. And I highly suggest LinkedIn. If you don't have LinkedIn, please create one now. LinkedIn is like a professional uh, thing, uh, like in Facebook, and at least LinkedIn is free, you see. You, uh, you wouldn't even know. There's a lot of employers and job agencies who look at LinkedIn, really. So you put everything, all your job history there, and what, and what else. And some people always ask me, is it the best time right now to apply a job in Singapore? Almost always. Every day is the best time to apply in Singapore because you'll never know like the company really needs this urgently and what. I highly suggest rather than you overthink on what to do and you overthink like nobody replies to you, please, please, it's just like a sales thing. Always, always apply. Everything apply online and you need to hone your skills as well. By the time somebody calls you, probably you have uh, sent out like 500 resumes it's okay perseverance is the key guys and as long as your your resume your job history match on the specific job here in singapore they will really really call you but of course i always say that the competition is really really tough it's even harder than before because they always raise up the quota for foreigners for the salary and whatsoever so that they give first the job to their citizens so just don't lose hope just hone your current skills and then while you're doing that current skills your work apply 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 you know apply online you see and you'll never know one day you will you're going to hit uh, one employer you will get you will get a pass and you will be here in singapore so yes that's about it you let me know what kind of topics um what do you want to to hear about singapore or probably family life or what and then yes that's about it thank you for listening for on on my 2019 reflections and my 2020 goals and I see you next time on my next video. Happy New Year again. Bye-bye.